Right, welcome back to uh, Let's Play GTA San Andreas and let's do some missions again. Wear flowers in your hair. Motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Carl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's... Fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit, but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Yay. Let's pick up some people again, I guess. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th Pierre Love Inn, apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. A field of tents. Crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, that wasn't good. polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. Good cop, This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Tanang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth, dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man. We're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, so far gone, man. All right, here we are, boss. What are we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. <laughs> okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Okay. Oh, there's a pod duck. Awesome. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Oh, uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. 
It was okay. death necessary. Next stop, cop station downtown. What? You want your mom? Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Come on, man. A little more gas wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? What's going Don't on, True? Go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. He jumped on my car. I didn't do anything. I was just driving on the sidewalk. Okay, hey, zero. God fucking damn it. Seriously. Wow. Alright, let's try this again. All right, uh, let's try not to kill Zero again, I think. That's a good plan to go with. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, Truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, Zero. Zero, Carl. Sup? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Right, snarky asshole. That's what I needed in this game. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, it is <laughs> property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. Hey, <laughs> man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> oh, okay, that's done. Present me with the next mission, please. Five, 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 we tip. Carl, how San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give we tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? 
He's at the Van Kampf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. What's a DA? Hmm. Oh, I don't have a car. Can I have your car? Well, fuck you. <laughs> it's all your car. What you gonna do about it? Nothing! Did you see that? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a camera. Package. Big prick jokes are forbidden. Big pointy bunny, okay. Relax. Don't waste my time. Get that bucket in here, damn it. Try taking a shower, stinky. Rude. Hello, me car. Okay, don't I guess. That's bad parking, by the way. I take that paper. Okay, I look awesome now. Ah, you must be the new boy. Get in line. Okay. Oh, that's that's the wrong garage, yeah, man. You might even say this is not a garage. Where are you running? Here we go. Okay, drugs planted. Let's move on. Oh, I have only one minute. Gonna go fast, I guess. Oh, you're gonna get that car, I guess, right? Don't fall over. I'm not invisible, moron. So. Hello, this wee tip. I seen something highly suspicious. You should come check out. Hey, 
Police, don't move! Get out of the car with your hands in the air! Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron! Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? Wow. <laughs> but, but I've never seen... How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy! Your outfit sucks. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. All right, this is my stop, I guess. Oh, I would like to ride dangerously. That looked painful. <laughs> God damn it. Bike, come down. Do I have the money? 30,000 for fuck's sake. <sighs> That's expensive. Where's zero at, huh? Tell me that. I just bought this property. Where the fuck is zero at? Okay, let's go out, I guess. Call from him. Hello? Carl, it's zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. I just did. Hey, Raid. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure. And the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. <laughs> Excuse me, but I Man. never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small mind. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full scale attack. This is insanity. All batteries commence fire. He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. Huh. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. Okay. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock. You're down. You're down. Great kid, don't down. get cocky. Down.
How many fucking RC planes does he have? That's a lot of money gone. Can I shoot him? I guess I can, but that wouldn't end well for me. Although I already killed him once and the was a mission failed. So I will not attempt to do that again. One more minute with this shit. Right. As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you! Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Yeah, yeah. Well, this was great fun. I think I'm done with you, Zero, for a while. Oh, what the fuck? What happened to this? What the hell is this? I just crashed my game. Oh my. Probably should have saved. And I didn't. Well, this is great. Oh well. See you next time, I guess. Uh, on the next episode of Let's Play GTS and Dress. I'm always Herbs, so yeah. Goodbye. Great ending, though.